Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope uh, you all are doing well and uh, preparing for your exam and putting a lot of efforts to crack it. Topic uh, that we'll have a look at today is uh, from paper three, it's expected shortfall. And uh, we'll look at uh, two questions which will give you the very thorough understanding of expected shortfall. And uh, my view, I mean, it's a very uh, easy and scoring topic if you get a question on it. If you understand the concept thoroughly, and I believe it's very easy. And uh, before I go ahead, uh, please do subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and uh, ask them to subscribe as well and comment as well, uh, so that uh, they also get benefited out of it. And we also get the maximum reach. Let's have a look. So the table of content will have a look, uh, will understand the expect concept of expected shortfall. And then uh, very important, uh, let me just uh, mark it. Very important, if you understand the visualization well, then uh, your, uh, I mean, you, are, you will have to put uh, less efforts if you can just visualize and uh, answer the question. And finally, as we uh, will see two questions. So let's see the understanding of expected shortfall. See, expected shortfall is a loss given that portfolio already exceeded the VAR amount. So it's a uh, so uh, if I were to say that I'll give you some visualization. So it's a it's measurement of worst case order. And uh, as we saw that it's, it's a mean percentage of loss. So very important is I mean if you could uh, just relate two words, it says mean and it's over it it says expected. And uh, among the below Q quarter and how it is, I'll show you in visualization. So for now, just make a three important points, expected mean and worst quarter returns. And uh, very important, I mean, sometimes it, in questions, it is also asked, it's the conditional VAR, given that loss has exceeded your value uh, VAR amount. And it is a more accurate, because it measures the terrorists, because VR does not talk about the terrorists. So it's, uh, so key points are highlighted. VR is more accurate because it measures the terrorists. It just make a note, measures the terrorists. How? We'll see in the next slide. So let's see visualization of expected shortfall. See, very important now. Uh, I mean, if you understand this diagram well, you're you're done with your expected shortfall concept. See, this is the point which we uh, consider when we calculate the VAR. So we'll uh, take a Z value and uh, multiply with the uh, standard deviation of your portfolio and get the percentage VAR. But so this is uh, this. Basically, this VR does not talk about this terrorist. What happens that if your loss exceeds this uh, this point? So, for under that, there is a concept of expected shortfall that we are currently having a look. So, it it uh, basically expected shortfall is an average of this tail distribution. I mean, instead of this complete distribution, you can. Uh, just consider this tail distribution. So there will be a very high losses in this, which will have a very less probability, but we'll consider the average of this and to calculate the expected shortfall. So uh, as we saw the statement, it's a conditional loss. Given your loss has already exceeded the value at risk, so this point is already exceeded, then expected shortfall will come into the picture. Very important. 
let's see the two questions so uh, there are 180 observation of bank x and uh, 95th percentile confidence level is va so we are at 95 percent confidence level is five five dollar five million so there are 180 observations loss observation beyond this points are in millions these are the uh, loss observations after this uh, the, if if your loss exceeds the VR. so what is a correspond conditional VR? so when you say conditional VR, it could is a expected shortfall so very important now uh, just don't consider last five points because uh, the data points are 180 so five percent of 180 it would be around nine observations and you also have in one two three four five six seven eight nine you have been given nine observation so if you uh, take an average of these nine observation then uh, you will get a expected shortfall or conditional vr so just the uh, calculation part you can take here i believe it will come around 16 point uh, we had seen now in our class so your the correct option for this question is d and let's see another question so we have been given one table and uh, so in our earlier table we have are asked to calculate still we were asked to calculate uh conditional VR at 95th percentile. Now we have been asked to calculate expected shortfall at 90th percentile. So once loss goes beyond this level, then what's the average? So if you see, be very careful because it's, it's uh, you have to visualize. If I plot a distribution over here, so again, going back to the diagram that we already saw. So this is a mean point that we are interested in. So if I have to choose a similar point, if you see it's almost the end of the thing, and this is the beginning of the distribution over here. So this is your midpoint. The last loss corresponding to this is three and if you would like to know, I mean this was just a very high level overview of expected shortfall. Uh, if you are if you are interested in knowing more more properties of expected shortfall, please uh, feel free to join our classes and uh, get in touch with your admin teams um, on the men number mentioned in the description box. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. Stay connected.